I've let things go way too long. Today is laundry day, so of course I'm vlogging. I haven't vlogged in a long, long time. I do have lots of things that I can talk about. Oh, I'm, I'm making my bed right now, so this is old school vlogging, catching up. I, I don't know if you like my outfit or not, but this is what I'm wearing right now because I am doing laundry. This is a new shirt. I was going to talk about some kind of um, on the spectrum thing where it's also a very minimalist thing to do. So I guess it all works out. I find something that I love and I want it in every color and I only want to wear that. It's kind of my uniform. So I just discovered that these Fruit of the Loom sweats have this this color and I like this color. I think it has to be washed and shrunk up a little bit. I didn't wash it yet. I just cut off the sleeves. And I usually like to wear them inside out when I cut off the sleeves which you might have seen in other videos. If you watch my videos, I don't know why you're watching this one if you haven't watched other ones of mine. Anyway, I'm loving this new shirt. I, well, I didn't, I don't like it inside out. Uh, okay, that's enough, of, enough about that. Oh no, dropping my clean clothes on the floor. That was a, an area where I noticed it was dusty. So you can see that I cut my hair, and I am. Um, it was a, I got a new razor, which I really like, a new buzz cut, buzzer, shaver, and it's really nice. And it's probably one of the least expensive ones I ever bought, and I got it on Amazon. And it's all metal and chrome, and it's heavy, and it's rechargeable. The only thing that it's not, it's not water safe. But I don't really shave in the shower or anything anyway. Something that they don't tell you about getting older is that hair sprouts out from different places that you never had hair before. I don't know, I've been going through puberty since I was 12 years old. Very, very slow process for me. I was always the youngest person, and then I think I became the oldest person. Now I'm definitely the old, well, now I'm just, now I'm just by myself. So I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten COVID yet, and I guess I'm assuming that people who get COVID are people who talk to other people, because I do go to the stores a lot, like I have to get groceries, and I have to see people, and I'm not always careful about washing my hands. Sometimes I'll just, I'll eat something while I'm out. That hasn't happened in a while. I am, um, oh, we're really going to get into this right now. I'm not vaccinated. I don't believe in medicine. And which is something that, well, can I take a tan? Oh no. Oh my, you, you saw that happen. I didn't even see that happen. My kidneys still hurt from my bladder infection, I think. I'm trying to like cure it, but I've noticed my skin feels different. I think in the last couple days though, I think my skin is improving. I don't know, it's also hard to tell if your skin, there's something, because it is winter time. And plus my skin is changing. That's something else that I notice about getting older is that the elasticity in my skin is so different. Anyway, do you like my hairdo, uh, my haircut? I don't know if it's a do exactly, but I do like how easy it is. It's very minimalism. Okay, back to COVID, not vaccinated. It really, I get really pissed off though. People are afraid of people who are unvaccinated. 
but it's the vaccinated people. And I also, I'm st I don't believe in conspiracy theories at all. I'm not a conspiracy, a conspiracy, but I'm starting to think that they are trying to make everyone get a vaccine. And that because it's really people who don't get vaccines are really looked down upon. But I don't take any medicine and I, I don't I don't even drink coffee. I don't want I don't want any stimuli, artificial stimuli in my system. I believe in I believe in food healing you and, and stuff like that. And I believe in building up your natural immune system. Where's my where's my top sheet? Oh, is my top, my top sheet's of course something that fell on the ground. So yeah, I'm I'm the one that's more fearful because people can get COVID now, and they can. And say, what we, what, you know what cures COVID? Isolating it, less than two weeks. All you have to do lock yourself. If every single person locked themselves up for ten days it would be completely gone. So that's what I don't understand. <laughs> Good morning, it's the next day. <laughs> I will be continuing laundry. There's my stuff's hanging. So I washed everything. Do you ever like wash everything and everything's clean? and like everything's clean so i don't want to get anything dirty or put anything on but that's easier to do in the summertime but maybe i'll stay in bed but i have to fold clothes okay i don't know if i told you the last time in my last video that i am i am i'm vegan now i don't eat uh, meat i watch too many documentaries on how bad meat is and what else uh, so I've been eating potatoes, mostly, and I like to put some green vegetables, or not really vegetables, I usually use coriander or, 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 or parsley, Italian or curly, it doesn't matter, buy it, chop it, um, parsley's $1.79, and <laughs> coriander's 99 cents. So I've been doing that, or did they call it cumin? I guess cumin's the seed, coriander's the leaves. Cilantro, sorry, neither. Cilantro is what I've been um, putting, and then uh, and then okay, so I bought some apples too because they're good for they're good for kidney healing. So I thought I should, and potatoes are high in potassium, and pot potassium is bad for kidney healing, so I have been avoiding that. Uh, one day I bought some cucumbers and carrots, and I got a, uh, what do you call that? A, it's, it, it looks like a peeler, but it, it makes some um, julienne, I, I never was able to, I guess I've never really had nice knives, I can't trust myself with nice knives, because nice knives will cut my fingers because I'm clumsy and I'll cut myself. So anyway, so I did that. I've been making noodles and then, oh, peanut butter. I've been eating a lot of peanut butter, probably too much peanut butter. I don't know if um, I'm skinny or fat now. When I started um, my exercise, I did two, two days of exercising, well, every second day. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I like to do, but I did Tuesday, or I did, I guess I did Wednesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and s s I don't know what I did. Anyway, now it's, t today's Monday, so I'm going to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday again, I'm going to, I'm going to do that, and that's going to be really good, and uh, should I show you what I look like, am I fat, I don't know, am I skinny, I don't know, no, don't stop looking at me, you pervert. Uh, um, I weighed myself though, and I weigh pretty much the same, so, uh, I'm gonna, oh yeah, and oh, and there's something else that I wanted to talk to you about. I've been sleeping at the end of my bed, because it's so hard to, uh, straighten out the pillows. <laughs> and this is something that you should do if you have a king-size bed. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't have any... It's, it's such a hassle to make the bed, so the the pillows just keep the blankets on. I just have to tidy up the end. Otherwise, it's really hard to do. So that's what I've been doing. 
<laughs> and I, I sleep curled up like this anyway, so it's it's long enough. But I guess I, if I had a king size bed, I wouldn't even know the difference because they're like square. So. <sighs> And so I'm excited to, uh, I'm excited to take my cl clothes down from the, from the, I don't know what you can see, from hanging above my head. Sometimes it bothers me that I have those cords, they're still kind of distracting, they still kind of claustrophobe. And my intention was just to put them up, but they are high enough that they're above my head. I don't know, we'll talk about that some other time. I love you, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.